Let us in. Let us in. Let us in. My son is in jail. Let us in. Taller people are not allowed here. No, no. Let I wasn't us in. sure. No, I wasn't no, sure no. that they are the time of the killing. He didn't do nothing. Please, let, Just let us, us in. Please. Let us in. Please. session. Judge Stevens presiding, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, calling the case of the people of the state of South Carolina versus George Lewis Jr. Uh, no need to go through the regular procedure for this disgusting ordeal that we are facing. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, now, the defendant has been charged with the horrendous crime of brutally murdering 11-year-old Betty June Vinegar and 7-year-old Mary Ann Bennett. Now, the evidence points to George Lewis Jr. as the culprit. Officer Wyatt's personal notes after arresting Mr. Lewis claim that the boy confessed to the murder and as to where he hid the murder weapon. Now I call Officer Wyatt to the stand. Can't you explain who you were with the night the girls were slaughtered? I seen him at the bus stop with them two girls. That's what tipped me off that he did it. He, he threw them in the you respect the judicial procedure, boy! Thank you for your statement and your excellent service to the state of South Carolina, Officer White. You may leave the room, Officer Wyatt. Thank you. Now, this evidence here proves that the defendant is guilty as charged. Thank you. Although the evidence is definitive, we got to give the boys' counsel a chance to speak. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen from the jury. The defendant is innocent, and I can prove that. I basically believe that this young boy cannot commit the crimes that he did, because even though he was at the bus stop with the young girls, that doesn't mean he did it. Perhaps they were just having a conversation about what they had for lunch, or something like that. Boy's cousin was in the south. She said he was with her at the time of the murders. Now you know we can't have colored people in the court. Besides, we've gone too far. Will the jury foreman please stand? I hope you come to an obvious conclusion in this case. The jury finds the defendant guilty. The jury is thanked and excused. The boy, George Lewis Jr., is sentenced to die via the electric chair. <laughs> He hasn't said a single thing from the moment he entered the courtroom until now. Probably because he's guilty. Definitely, he's guilty. Or it could be because he's innocent. Look at him, he's just a kid. They, it was a short trial. They didn't even record a transcript for the whole case. So, who do you think killed them little girls? Are you questioning the system? No, Sheriff. Good, because I'm going to pretend I haven't heard nothing from your mouth. You got anything to say, boy? Or... You know, you're gone. I miss Mama. 
I miss my babs. I miss my cousins. I miss everything. Can you please just let me go? Just ignore him, fellas. Hartley, put the bag over his head. Let's get this thing done. I is innocent. Please let me go. I didn't do nothing. Please let me go. Shut your mouth, boy. You are not allowed to talk in here. It's gonna be over soon. I'm gonna do good everything. No! No!